everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do the smoky eye look using the uh, Gwen Stefani palette by Urban Decay. It was just on sale at Macy's, so I'm sure a ton of you just bought it. It was like 25 bucks, which is really cheap for these palettes. But so yeah, we're just gonna do this. It's kind of like a navy smoky eye sort of look. You could use it for any special occasion that you might have. I also dyed my hair, if you cannot tell. It's kind of reddish. Hopefully, it doesn't blend into the background too much. Okay, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so today we're gonna do eyes first because um, Urban Decay Shadows tend to have a ton of fallout. If you guys wanna look at the palette first, this is the Gwen Stefani one. As you can see, it's pretty new. I used the blue a couple times, but I don't really know what kind of look I'm gonna go for today, so we're just gonna go with it. Okay, so first I'm going to mitt these two brown colors, um, just for a transition shade into my crease. And I am using a Taper Blending E35 to do this. Okay, so now I'm going to take the shade, oh wait, never mind, I was reading the names around. I'm taking 1987 now, um, I guess before I was using Zone and Anaheim, um, I read the names around them here. Oops. So I'm just placing 1987 onto a E55, and I'm going to apply this to the first outer half of my eye like from this part, but I'm leaving that inner corner blank. And this is just like a yellow champagne shade. I do my eyes first when I use any sort of Urban Decay shadow because Urban Decay shadows tend to have a ton of fallout, especially if we end up using that blue. Okay, when you're satisfied with the pigmentation of that yellow shade, we are going to go into Danger, which is that blue, which is right there. This is where all the fallout is in a fallout. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so I'm going to take it on that same E35, no, E55 brush, and I'm just packing it on there, and I'm tapping off the excess. And I'm just pushing it into that yellow. Just packing on the color right now. For right now, just focus on packing on the color. Don't focus so much on the blending. Just did your color down and then, you know, we'll go back and blend. When you're done with that, you're going to take a blending brush. This is just a clean um, E40, and I'm just going to blend that out. And as you can see, there's like a ton of fallout underneath my eye, but we'll clean up that before we do the face. And this brush has nothing on it. You want to grab a brush that has absolutely nothing. When you're done with that, you're just going to take a tissue and some makeup remover. This is the one by Dior. You guys know I work for Dior, but I don't get any discounts on their products, which really sucks. But um, I get little gifts all the time, so I have a lot of mini of Dior products and a lot of like samples. But you're just going to clean underneath the eye. And I'm making a straight line of mine. Just as I wanted to, you don't have to. My gosh, this really 
fell out onto my cheeks. Okay. <laughs> yeah, with these shadows, it's not even like you to put foundation, not your concealer. Like, you just gotta do your eyes first. But they're still super pigmented, so we love them. Right? We love them. Okay, you guys are probably wondering why I did that, if I still am gonna add more shadow. Um, and basically the reason is, is I had a lot of excess over here and I kind of really wanted to get my shape down so I could follow the line. So that's why I did that. But I am now going to go into the color Sirius. It's just like, uh, kind of a charcoaly gray. It has some more blue undertones in it, which is why I am using it for this look. And I'm taking it on a E45 small tapered blending brush and... I'm just capping off the excess, and I'm going to go right into the outer third. put a little bit more of that first yellow shade just to brighten that area up again I'm gonna go back in with that clean blending brush that we used before and just blend all of this And then after, I'm going to take bath water, it's this shade right here, on my ring finger and I'm applying it to the inner corner. Just like that. Whoa! Whoa. I really love that inner corner highlight. I'm going to actually put that on my brow bone too. I always use my ring finger for my, for my um... Highlights, not on my face, but on my eyes. I don't know, I just feel like it gives like a really like pigmented look to it. Okay, now I'm gonna go wipe off that excess that fell on my face because now I realize I did it way too soon. So I'm gonna go wipe off that excess and I will be right back. Okay, so underneath the eyes, I am gonna, I'm gonna go back into that 1987 color, that yellow shade, and I'm gonna apply it right under here. I'm applying it all the way to the center of my eye. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back into that serious color, which is that gray, and I'm applying it right to the bottom lash line. I'm connecting it with the top so that it's just one kind of cat eye shape. This elongates your eye really nice. Okay, right, so I'm gonna go put on some mascara and apply my falsies, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I apply my mascara and my falsies, and I love the way this monkey eye turned out. It's so like sultry. I love it. Okay, so now onto the face. I'm gonna be using my She Moisturizer Peace Rose Oil Complex Sensitive Skin Facial Moisturizer. I got this in my haul video. Um for my Target haul a couple months ago, and I really liked it. It's really light. Um, I wish, um, I wish it was like an anti-aging moisturizer or something, or it had an SPF in it, um, but it still is amazing. It just helps calm my redness down in my face, which I really like, and it's really soft on, like, my neck area. Never miss your neck area, guys, when you put on moisturizer. Just because you don't want my, your face to be all perfect when you're old and then your neck be, like, wrinkly. Even though we're all going to wrinkle. We'll try to prevent it, but it's going to happen. So now I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the color Vanilla. And I'm just trying out this foundation right now, guys. 
I've been trying to find a foundation that doesn't oxidize so bad on my nose because every foundation seems to do that. It doesn't even show on my nose. It looks like I just missed my nose for foundation, which I hate. So yeah, I've been trying to find like the perfect foundation. If you guys have any suggestions, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear them because I've I literally have like five sample foundations that I'm trying out. I'm trying on of the Tarte, Tarte Maracuja one. I don't know how I really like that one yet. I don't know how I like the um, consistency of it. But I've been trying to just find like a really nice foundation. But I'll never buy the foundation and then try it. I have to use a sample first because I'm not going to invest in, in really expensive foundation and then hate it. You know what I'm saying? We don't have money to throw around people. We do not. Oh, I really like this one though. I really like the Born This Way foundation. I think more than the Tarte one because it's a lot more glowy when you apply it. I don't know, I, I don't feel like the radiance goes away even after I put on powder, which is really important to me. And I'm just using the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer for under the eyes and anywhere that I have redness, so mostly around the nose. using the um, light contour shade in my Lorac Pro Contour Palette. As you can see by this unfortunate mess, the medium one died. And now I'm just applying this CoverGirl Cheaters blush, and this is in the color... Uh, I don't know. I'll find out. How is, how is the my mom is freaking out because my cousin just got back from Italy. Oops. But guys, this video will probably be uploaded while I'm away. So if you comment and I don't respond, don't be sad. It's because I am in Poland. So, yeah. So don't be depressed if I don't respond to you. But I will have it set to publish sometime while I'm gone because I'm going to be gone for three weeks. No, three weeks. Two weeks. This is just kind of like a berry. These are really awesome. The Coverdell Cheaters line. I haven't tried any of the other lines of their blushes, but I love this one. Oh, and my blog is officially running. I know last time I said it was, now it definitely is. Um, so my msbeautycorner.com, it works now. So if you type that in to Doodle, you will find my actual website and not my old one. And last but not least, I'm gonna highlight my face as always with my Becca Highlighting Palette. And I'm just mixing the first two shades together like I always do. here too, just to highlight that area. Ooh, this lighting is super good today, people. You can see that. Whoosh. What? And last but not least, I'm using my Sona Tiashit Sweet Pea Lustrous Shine Lip Crayon. Wow. Guys, do I see this right now? Okay, so that's it for this makeup look today. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. As I said in my video, I am going to be gone on vacation for two weeks, but hopefully this video posts while I'm there. I'm going to schedule it to post so that I don't miss out on any um, posting. So, yeah. So I hope you guys all like this look. Uh, again, check out my blog, msbeautycorner.com. That just recently came up. 
And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe uh, to this channel. And I hope you guys all have a great week. Bye, guys.